I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery and Mischief. All right, we got the Iona Survival Shovel. You see me using their stuff in the Wilderness Living Challenge main series. I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm the Wooded Beardsman. And this is the Wilderness Living Challenge main. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> the point of the challenge is to gain or maintain our body weight while eating nothing but wild foods for seven days. Last time we did it in Canada, this time he's come down to join me in the coastal state of Maine. And my trusted Cold Steel Special Forces Spetsnaz shovel, 100 year old shovel. This shovel specifically isn't 100 years old. This is the Cold Steel version, but it's exactly like the original, the MPL 50, invented in uh -huh. 1869 by a Danish officer, Mad. And it became most known for being used by the Russian Special Forces Spetsnaz teams as a, not so much an entrenching tool, as a fighting tool. Versus modern survival shovel. Iona Survival makes a couple different of these survival shovels. The ones that are part of the series are all interchangeable, so you can build all kinds of neat stuff. This is their multi-pack that has a pickaxe head as well as a hatchet head, so you can build it into different configurations with different inner parts for uh, survival, like the fire starter and stuff like that. This is the one that I used during the Wilderness Living Challenge main series for digging clams and uh, working on my fort. <laughs> That might be a little bit long for a shovel, but it's uh, now it's a shovel walking staff. Let's try it out. Let's see what, uh, who wins the challenge? We got a couple things that uh, people do all the time when they're doing those knife competitions. We're gonna try some different things versus each other. Uh, which one are you gonna use, Chris? I'll give you mine since Ooh, cold steel. I'll give you mine, and I will use the the survival shovel. We got some water bottles and the two shovels. I don't know if this will even work with shovels, but I did hone them a little bit extra. I'll start out with the uh, Iona survival shovel. Cameraman risking life and limb to stay close to this situation as it develops to bring it to you in the best living color. All right, enough talking. Game begin. <laughs> Yeah, I did it. Sweet. Pretty cool cut. Yeah, it kind of curved and went whoop and zip. <laughs> yeah, that's a good cut. All right, both shovels halved their bottles. Uh, the Iona a little cleaner and better grip. Yeah. Where's the drum beast go? Yeah. Iona, five cut. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, that never happened. I don't know if this will even work, but we're gonna try the old hanging rope cut. <laughs> it didn't even cut like partially into one. One strand. Hey! Hey! Uh, when we did that with the bushcraft chopper that we forged, it cut right through it. like every time zing 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 like paper maybe not so good for cutting hanging rope We've got a serrated edge on this side i'm gonna see if i can saw through the rope faster than he can saw through it without a serrated edge go, go. that didn't work without the serrated edge one Ready? two three go oh no got it oh nice all right best two out of three best two out of three go oh, oh. oh. you beat me chopping through a two by four go Direction. Man. 47 seconds. That's not bad. Ready. On your mark. Get set. Go. That's, 
Oh wait, uh, stop. Uh, that was more like 12 seconds. It took me a couple seconds to even uh, hit stop because I was just so, I was so stunned by that whole thing. Wow, that, I, I don't even know in those uh, chopping competitions that they go through it as quickly as that. These trench shovels, they're good. Yeah, that thing's amazing. At least for that aspect. All right, I got something you can't do. Mark, get set, start a fire with your shovel. Um, uh, friction fire. Uh... There's, there's no fire around here though. Uh, lighter maybe? A lighter. I got a fire. What about you? You didn't even, you walked off, shovel. you ran off on your shovel even. <laughs> so there's plenty of room inside here. It comes with the fire starter, the knife, and um, I lose track of how many other things you can put inside here they have that you can purchase separately on the website and longer length and build it to longer. The longer it is, I think the more convenient it is. I think we should have a dig off now, but also I, I was thinking to myself, there's enough space in here. I stuff cotton balls inside that you could have my full kit from my possibles pouch in here. The entire set of survival kit all in the one shovel. Not to mention you could even tighten up the training wheels on your daughter's bicycle. Take that off, I think it would catch on your hand. Oh, took a couple tries. She kind of doesn't rotate as nicely as this guy. Definitely doesn't, it feels awkward for throwing, but I mean, you're not really supposed to do that with it anyways. Last, last test, we'll be testing, well, his youth against my old vigor as well as the fold in the shovel, taking advantage of the hoe mode. Fastest to fill the bucket wins. Set, go. I think my technique leaves something to be desired, but we got a minute, four seconds. Remember folks, Refill your divots. On your mark, get set, go. I think you beat me. 36 seconds. You definitely beat me. What is that? Almost. It's old metal. You even dug through some metal. <laughs> in conclusion, I'm not certain there is a clear winner in this little versus video. You know, I've whacked rocks with it, checked the edge, and she was actually still really good. They're pretty solid that way, and I like the serrated edge. It allows you to saw chop through roots where you can't do that with the cold steel. I keep the biggest one strapped to the roof of the Adventure Mobile and use it all the time. It's really heavy duty. My favorite one, though, is the tiny one. It doesn't have as much room in the handle, but I've used that to make rocket stoves during the 30 day survival challenge, and it goes on a pack really well. And there's still room in the handle for some little bit of gear, and the ability to fill the handle of your tool with survival kit or just a little piece of rope for some little thing you're building is really neat. And top that with the interchangeability of all these tools and the ability to build some crazy contraption like a giant walking staff slash shovel, and you got all kinds of neat things that you could do. The only area I felt like it struggled a little bit is its ability to chop through stuff. I'm always afraid of those folders breaking on me, although it has not happened and I have abused them a lot. So let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments below. Who's the clear winner in this competition? And check out Ayuno Survival so you can buy or build your adventure tool today. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Fowler out.